guys, welcome back to Mass Talk. Super lucky today. We're with Kirk McLean. Lucky? Kirk. All right, oh, lucky. we're lucky. <laughs> Kirk, you look like a movie star. Well, come on. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. It's a spray tan. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kirk, growing up, okay, this was my favorite oh, Vancouver kind of thing. Oh, wow. My like the colors, the patterns, the yeah. Did you have a say in the artwork? Was um, I did a little bit, uh, uh, but Greg Harrison, you He's uh, the one that uh, did the mask, and he's very talented, as we all know. Um, but I, I kind of gave him a little bit of direction, but just let him kind of do what what, uh, what he wanted to do. I, right. uh, I trusted the, his uh, ability, and, and I, he always came up with a great one. While growing up, which goalie mask did you idolize? Which, which, which oh gosh, you? that's a good one. Uh, well, right behind us, Paul Matera. I grew up in Toronto, so uh, Paul Matera was uh, obviously a uh, and the paint jobs, the Doug Savelle when he when he came to Toronto, uh, even Bernie uh, when he left uh, Toronto, he just had the, the flyers. And, That's funny. Um, Mike Victor uh, answered those three exact yeah. as well. Yeah, so it's uh, you know he was a hero of mine, Bernie, right. and then Jock Fon obviously didn't have a, any any cover. So uh, it was very interesting growing up in the you know the late sixties and the seventies when, when all these different paint jobs were. Were, uh, you know, coming about. It's a great era. It was a great era, era, you know. And then, of course, you know, Gary Bromley in Vancouver had the Bones mm -hmm. mask, which was kind of cool. Uh, you know, and Johnny Garrett, uh, you know, had a pretty, pretty uh, uh, cool mask as well. So um, there was some, some really, really cool. Ken, Ken Mocker did the right. same. You know, he had the, the, yeah, that was, on the blue one with the green yeah, thing. Yeah, so that one. pretty, pretty cool stuff. Pretty creative yeah. stuff. And between all the masks that you had. Which one was your favorite? Like the Canucks, they change colors all the time. Canucks and Rangers. Yeah, um, you know, probably this is probably the, the classic one. I like this one as well. The first, the very first uh, one I got from Greg in, in the late '80s uh, when he was just coming up, to, uh, or my first one, anyways. And just a pretty simple one with the, the V on the front and the. And the little oh yeah, this yellow. Right? Yeah, and mm -hmm. then and then the next year we went to white sweater. So I had this give back to him and he repainted the, the yellow part again. And then we went with yellow, white, and you had this one, and then that we changed all, all it, together. A little bit, and then we went to, we went to a, the one we kind of blue color, yeah. kind of blue, silver. And Which one did you prefer? I like that, I actually like that paint Which job is? that he did. He did a wonderful paint job, and then, and then even the one he did when I was in New York. I really enjoyed it. And all the goalies nowadays, which one is your favorite? Gosh, it's a, they're all different now. They're all personalized now. They have rock stars on the side of them. They have boxers. They have a whole bunch of different things. I, have, I, I don't really take a look because they change them two or three times a year. See, we only we didn't have the budget. Oh, no, that's see, a, we had to keep ours for years, right? It, it took forever. I mean, I you know, the, the cost of that was probably at the time a couple grand. So that was a, that was a big expense for, for back in the day. But now they they change them. You know, for every uniform change. Yeah. So there's been some creative ones. Uh, you know, Mike Smith. Uh, Smith uh, had the, the Mike Vernon throwback you know, mm -hmm. that he used in his playoffs. And, yeah, and, and uh, Markstrom had uh, uh, one made up uh, as well, where it was uh, you know it was like the years coming up this side. So it's, they get creative, and you know, that goes to show you the you know the artists that are, that are doing this. Every day. Pushing the boundaries. Yeah, big time. Kurt, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy, thanks. Cheers, guys. Okay.